I'm going to show you how to fillet a mackerel. And my technique today is first of all to take the head off the fish. To do that, I'm going to take a nice sharp filleting knife and you can see with that it's got a nice flexibility to it. I'm going to slip the heel of the knife behind the fin here and I'm going to make a cut into the back of the head, taking it as close to the back as I can so that I'm not going to lose too much of the flesh of the fish. So maximum yield. Turn the fish over and make a second cut on the second side. And then in order to make the final cut, turn the fish onto its back, slip your knife between these two little fins and make one cut just to join up the two cuts uh, that you've made previously. All you then do is snap the head off, out come some of the innards and I'm going to just discard those. For filleting uh, the fish, having removed the head, you don't need to actually um, gut the fish at this stage, you can go straight through the process of filleting. I'm going to start with the tail towards me, the left hand on the belly of the fish to press that and I'm going to make an incision running down the back of the fish just above the dorsal fin. And to do that I'm going to push the knife in and then slowly draw the knife down just to open up the skin like so. Having done that, I put the tip of the knife in again and run the length of the blade from top to bottom, which actually shows me, uh, by running it and bending the knife in there, that you can actually see the bone structure of the mackerel underneath. We then need a point of exit. So I'm going to slip the knife straight through to the second side and I'm going to just cut straight down. That is known as breaking the tail of the fish. Using the tip of the knife, I'm going to slice down, stroking all the time so that you don't end up uh, cutting too much into the flesh of the fish to actually remove that fillet and pull that away. I then make a cut across the bottom and that fish fillet is then prepared. We turn the fish over and do exactly the same thing on the other side, sawing in just above the dorsal fin, straight the way down to the back of the fish and again draw the knife up so you can actually hear the knife pinging across the bones. Insert the knife in at that stage again straight down and break the tail. Having made that little point of exit I'm then going to use the tip of my knife and stroke away. This time I'm cutting away from myself, be careful of your fingers here, right the way through to the second side. Making stroking actions, put the knife down and then I'm actually going to pull the last little bit of bone away. That then can be discarded. Before we actually cook the fish, there's a little bit of preparation that you need to do. The first thing I want to do is trim off a little bit here, make sure that uh, any bits of gut is removed. And you can either use a knife to trim that away, or if you like the idea of eating a little bit of that belly flap, you can just use a cloth to wipe away that little bit of grey membrane so it doesn't look um, terribly good. I'm going to also trim off and make sure that I've got rid of any the bits of loose fin and nice and wiped. I need to do one other job and that is actually pin bone the fish. Now for pin boning I've got a little tweezer here and the pin bones are actually little bones that stick sideways into the fish with your tweezers, give it a little bit of a shake and then pull it away. An alternative and quicker method is to take the knife and just cut into either side of those little pin bones. Pin bones run about two thirds of the way down to the fillet, the tail end don't contain any. And just by running into there we can actually just lift those out. Open up the fillet and I can just use my tweezers just to pull those away. This fish is then ready for cooking. Mackerel being an oil rich fish is a beautiful just grilled or barbecued and with that I'm going to just brush it with a little bit of oil and seasoning and then underneath grill for cooking.